What if you could ship features faster, ensure rock solid security, and keep your entire team in sync? Stick around to see how DevSecOps transforms the way you build software. We're going to cover three things. One, what is DevSecOps? Two, the difference between DevOps and DevSecOps. And three, the benefits of DevSecOps. So what is DevSecOps? In simple terms, DevSecOps refers to the integration of security practices into a DevOps software delivery model. DevSecOps is the practice of merging development, operations, and security practices together instead of treating them as separate disciplines. Similar to how DevOps combines development and operations to help you build and ship software quickly, DevSecOps is the practice of using tooling, techniques, and culture to help you add security into the mix. It's about the practice of merging development, operations, and security together instead of treating them as separate disciplines. The definition of the DevSecOps model is to integrate security objectives as early as possible into the life cycle of software development. Integrating another practice into the SDLC at the beginning follows a shift left practice, meaning you're adding a new element into your process at the left or the beginning, rather than adding it at the end or on the right. Let's now understand the difference between DevOps and DevSecOps. To put it simply, the difference lies around the culture of shared responsibility in regard to security. The DevOps model ensures both the integrity of the delivered product and the effectiveness of the underlying operations. DevSecOps differs from this in that it aims to extend DevOps to include security objectives, hence the name. DevSecOps also infuses security practices into fast feedback software delivery and organizational culture. Unlike traditional DevOps and security models, in which information security objectives are inserted at the end of the software cycle, DevSecOps integrates security and engineering objectives with a shift left mindset. DevSecOps is a movement that harnesses DevOps' powers, bringing security practices into the fold. Activities designed to identify and ideally solve security issues are injected early into the life cycle of application development rather than after a product is already released. This is accomplished by enabling development teams to perform many security tasks independently within the Software Development Lifecycle, or SDLC. This shift in how secure development takes place profoundly affects the ease of remediating security vulnerabilities. Since finding vulnerabilities earlier in the Software Development Lifecycle is better than the alternative, the adoption of DevSecOps has been swift in high output environments. Minimizing vulnerabilities in production is one of many advantages of the DevSecOps model. An even greater advantage, or perhaps the biggest reason to adopt the DevSecOps mindset, is digital transformation. Digital transformation has become a requirement for almost all enterprises. Such transformation includes three significant motions, more software, cloud technologies, and DevOps methodologies. Hastily developing software invites a greater risk of technical debt. It also means the organization takes on more digital risk. And with more digital risk, application security becomes even more critical. With the advent of DevOps, an engineer can deploy a new service to the cloud with a single push. The expansion of digital products makes it increasingly challenging to secure digital assets. A DevSecOps culture brings security into the DevOps fold, enabling development teams to secure what they build at their pace, while also creating greater collaboration between development and security practitioners. It allows security teams to become a supporting organization offering expertise and tooling to increase developer autonomy while still providing the oversight the business demands. Since the evolution of DevOps has enabled whole infrastructure to be spun up and down with the click of a button or the stroke of a key press, the security guardrails that have made their ways into the SDLC for application code should operate on infrastructure code as well. Naturally, expanding the safeguards we utilize in application code to cloud and infra code makes a lot of sense since the way that these folks work is ultimately very similar. All right, so now that we understand how important DevSecOps is, let's talk about the six benefits you'll see with DevSecOps in practice. Number one, faster delivery. The speed of software delivery is improved when security is integrated into the pipeline. Bugs are identified and fixed before deployment, allowing developers to focus on shipping features. Benefit number two, improved security posture. Security is included as a feature from the design phase onward. A shared responsibility model ensures security is tightly integrated from building and deploying to securing production workloads. Benefit number three, reduced costs. Identifying vulnerabilities and bugs before deploying results in an exponential reduction in risk and operational costs. Benefit number four, enhancing the value of DevOps. Improving overall security posture as a culture of shared responsibility is created by the integration of security practices into DevOps. Benefit number five, improving secure development standards. Cost and time of secure software delivery are reduced by eliminating the need to retrofit security controls post-deployment. 
And last but not least, benefit number six, enabling greater overall business success. Greater consumer trust in the security of existing software and new technologies enables enhanced revenue growth and expanded business offering. That does it for this video. If you got value out of it, be sure to like it down below and share it with someone who could put it to use. And if you made it this far, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and happy safe coding everyone.